your uh, initiator. This is Gorman, ready to launch my first rocket. Okay, this is Gorman. My first rocket. I've now put on the clips. The clips are there. Rocket engine's there. <laughs> Look at that. One. So, did, forget stuff. This is Paul. This is my what is it, SRO or NRO? What do you call? What do you call? RSO. RSO. There you go. Range safety officer. Do you want to wait for those guys to come in? It's, yes. We, yeah, yeah, I think you should. Yeah. Rockets okay? Okay, next up, we got Gorman Cook here. This is a level one flight. This is a first flight. So um, he's flying this. It's a giant leap. Liberty 4 on the uh, H400 B Max. Uh, it's regular shoot recovery, especially an LT2 1200. Feet. Could be something else, but that's my best. Okay, uh, I'm looking at it. Sorry. We have continuity. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Nice flight. You can see that was a good motor choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a V Max. Okay. H four hundred, I think. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now, do you think, having watched that, do you think it could get up on an H one twenty five? No, I don't. Okay. Not unless it was windless. In this wind, I think you would have come over quite a bit at those spins. And... Pretty heavy rocket. Okay, yeah, it was six uh, pounds. Uh, six seconds away. Six okay. yep. There we go. Okay, Gorman Cooks here from Wilmer, Illinois, flying his Liberty Ford rocket on B1, which he just learned level one certed on earlier today. Proving it's not a fluke. He's <laughs> flying it on an H225 this time. Sky and Ranger clear. <laughs> that was my dual deploy. Very nice. <laughs> Show me how you did that. Uh, one of our new members, Russell Westergaard from Menominee Falls, flying his uh, uh, first flight on his uh, Aerotech Initiator uh, F25 motor in the Initiator. He's on B3. Good continuity. <laughs> Good luck, Russ. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Ooh, that was a good igniter, but uh, didn't quite do the job on the motor. 